Uh, I want to talk about the anger of the Lord. I hear the pastor say that the Lord do not get angry. But that is not true. You know, pastor Jesse Peterson. He said the Lord do not get angry. You know, as I say, we have a lot of false teaching. You know, I don't know what Bible he be reading out of, but that's why you have to read God's word for yourself. You know, as a lot of people do not understand that, they just listen to these pastors and think these pastors will be telling them everything the truth, but it's not so. So a lot of things they be saying the truth, but some of the things be false. You know, it don't be the truth. Turn to uh, Judges chapter 2. Judges chapter 2. Like I'll start like in verse 12. And say, And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods. And of the gods of the people that were around about them, and they bowed themselves unto their, unto them. Excuse me, say they bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. You see, they provoked the Lord to anger. See, God get angry. See, and people say that God don't get angry. And Jesus Christ got angry. I'm going to get to that in a little while. And verse 13 says, And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Astaroth. Astaroth. Can't pronounce that. But verse 14 says, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he delivered them into the hands of Sparlus that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about. See, he sold them to the hand of the enemy round about. Because the, he made the Lord angry. So the Lord sold them to their enemies. So the enemies took over them so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. See, that's what happened to them. Same thing like what's happening now. The people are provoking the Lord to be angry. Because God, and I like to think in Psalms, and God is angry with the wicked every day. All right, I can verse, uh, verse 20 of the same chapter. They say, and the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, because that they, because, excuse me, he said, because that this people had trespassed my covenant, which I commanded their father, and have not hearkened unto my voice. See, that's why God was angry. See. Because they didn't stop obeying God's word. With all his laws and commandments. So when the Lord get angry. And the people go and serve other gods. You know like they are doing now. See. You know left all God's commandments. Like this. God is against you know. Adultery. Fornication. Same sex marriage. You know. And some homosexuality. Transgender and all that. God is not for that. See, that's what they are doing. That's what they're promoting now. So God is angry. That's why he will punish. And they're starting to punish now. As time goes on, it get worse and worse. And sin will increase. And God will be punishing more. Turn to uh, Psalm chapter 7. In verse 11, see, I'm going to read it to you. And uh, let me see. Yeah, Psalm chapter 7 and verse 11. God judges the righteous, and he 
and God is angry with the wicked every day. See? See, he is angry with the wicked every day. See, God is angry with the wicked every day. That's what I've been trying to show y'all. See? But the people are preachers and pastors and don't read that. They say that God is a loving God. Yeah, God is a loving God. But he get angry just like you, you, your children. You know, your children keep doing good, you will be happy. But your children start doing evil, bad thing, you get angry at them, you want to punish them. See, the same thing. God made you. See. All right. Time to, uh, let me see. I think it's in, in, in Mark, chapter 13. No, not Mark 13, Mark uh, chapter 3 and verse 5. Why Jesus Christ got angry. And people be saying Jesus Christ doesn't get angry. See? No, it's not true. You know, it's like he got angry when he turned on the money chain changes. You know, turned over the table of the money chain when he was selling things in the temple. When he came into the temple, the people were selling things in that, you know, like doves, whatever. But he got angry and he turned over the table of the money chain changes. Saying so saying that Jesus Christ doesn't get angry. You know, God don't want you to get angry, but he said, uh, uh, Paul said, I think it's an Ephesian. He said, get angry, but sin not, you know. But God get angry. You know, I can read all down during the Old Testament. It's like I was reading all in Judges chapter 2, how God got angry. You can read like in Psalm chapter 78, it tells you that you get angry in many places. All down in the Old Testament, like in, in, in Numbers, you know. All right, in the verse, uh, chapter, Mark chapter 3 and verse 5. Verse 5 says, Mark chapter 3 and verse 5. I'll just I'll show you how those preachers and pastors, they be wrong, saying Jesus Christ don't get angry. The Bible says, Verse 5, chapter 3, Mark chapter 3, verse 5 said, And when he had looked round about on them with anger, see, he got angry, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand, and he stretched it out, see, and his hand was restored whole as the other. See? The Lord got angry. See? Jesus Christ. Don't let nobody deceive you. That's why you have to read God's word for yourself. Now that's the last one I'll go to is uh, Ephesians. I think it's Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 26. See, you have to learn God's word. Search out God's word and get understanding. And in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 says, Be ye angry and sin not. See, he tell you to sin not. Be ye angry, but sin not. You know. And it's like a child be doing something wrong. A lot of times you spank the child, but you don't get over anger that you don't have your anger under control. See, you have to have your anger under, under control. He said, be ye anger and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. See, you have to control your anger. can't stay angry at this like you be angry at the child might do something wrong but you don't stay angry at the child you know but like I said God get angry don't let those people deceive you his bastard to deceive you 
you know, saying that God doesn't get angry. It's not true. You know, I read all I do in the Bible to tell you how to get angry. That's what I wanted to bring to y'all today about anger. You know, I said, get angry, but sin not. You know, you don't want us to get angry. But the Lord get angry because it's the Bible tell you you get angry with the wicked every day. When you disobey God, God get angry. You know, and then God punish you. you know, I thank y'all. And may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.